Hey guys, it's me, Drew. It's time for part two of my Vintage Chic Sense June restock haul. This is going to be bags and samplers. Um, she does these things called Blossom Bags, which is a bag like this, a bakery bag, and it's full of different shapes of wax. This one is called Forget About It, which as soon as I read this, I was like, okay, this needs to be in my hands right now. It is cannolis, cream cheese, raspberries, and lemon glaze. And the Deluxe Blossom Bag retails for $19.70. So I already took everything out of the box so I can, or out of the bag so I can, whoops, just dropped a bunch of them. So I can show you what all is in there. So for $19.70, you get a pink rose. And to me, this scent is very lemon and raspberry, which with a little bit of a creamy cream cheese. I don't get any cannoli yet. Um, and I don't know. I don't get any cannoli yet. But so you get a rose. You actually get two pink roses in this one, and each one's bag is going to be a little different. It's like a blossom. Not every flower is the same. You get a yellow rose, and I've read that people cut these into thirds or fourths. So just think, even at thirds, that's nine melts right there. A large medallion in yellow, a large medallion in pink, two smaller medallions, and let me show you a comparison, pink to yellow, the difference in the medallions. The big ones you cut right in half to melt, and then you get two pink medallions. So you get a bunch of pieces in here, and I like that it's not just one item. I love that. I love that it's not just one of the same. You get a bunch of different shapes. I think is really cool. And I see some people like throw their stuff in the bag. I'm like, this is precious. I'm literally like treating it like it's a child. So that was the forget about it. And then the next one I was really excited about. Now this is called a bombshell blossom bag. So a bombshell blossom bag, the only difference is it's three scents mixed together. And it's not different, each different shape is a different scent, it's all the same scent. Just three different scents mixed together. So Cookie Monster, Spoonful of Sugar, and Cream Cheese Frosting. So on the back, it's a big one. So the Cookie Monster, Sugar Cookies, Sugar Cookie Dough, I don't really know what the difference would be. Buttercream frosting and sugar milk. Spoonful of sugar. Trace leche cake. Isn't that like a caramely something kind of cake? I'm not sure. And sugar cookie dough. And then cream cheese frosting is just cream cheese frosting. So in this bag, this bag's really unique. I've never seen a bag like this before. I've been watching a lot of haul videos. So you get two of the blue, two blue large medallions, large coins. A Tiffany blue coin and this is just like ultimate cookie dough like ultimate sugar cookie dough not chocolate at all just all cookie dough sweet delicious deliciousness then you get three of these like tulip buds which I would think these are like whoops one melt these are like one melt one two three for five of these little flowers, so five of those, four of the same flower in that Tiffany blue, one different flower in that Tiffany blue, these are gorgeous, and then four of these flowers in the regular blue. So you get a lot of wax in these little bags. A lot of wax, and this smells so good. So that is the Cookie Monster Spoonful of Sugar and Cream Cheese Frosting. Now on to the mystery box. So a mystery box is $60, $59. Oh, and by the way, that Cookie Monster, blah, 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 that was also $19.70. So the mystery box is $59. It's about three pounds of wax. You don't know what you're getting. It does tell you the scents, you know, once you get the box, but you don't know what scents are in it. Some people like it, some people don't. 
a lot of people don't like it because they might not like bakery, and a lot of things are bakery. They might not like mint. A lot of things are mint. To me, I love everything. There's really not anything I don't like, and if I do smell something and I can't stand it in a bag, I'll just give it to somebody. It's not a big deal. I got a pretty, pretty good bag, if you do say so myself. So in my mystery box, I got Five Families Cafe in the Blossom Squares. So those are those big squares that I have in the Twinkies Cafe. And I'm not uploading these one and then a week later. I'm uploading these both right after another. So these are these really big squares in a gorgeous pink. Sugar cookies, whipped cream, birthday cake, vanilla wafers, cannolis, and fresh picked strawberries. See fresh picked strawberries and there's cafe. Oh, this is good. This is ultimate bakery. Ultimate bakery, birthday cake, whipped cream, strawberries. I really like it. I feel like I'm going to love her five family scent a lot. So you got three of those. So that's like nine melts at least. At least nine melts. I got a loaf, a boardwalk loaf, in front row seating embeds with Princess of Monaco overboard. So front row seating is starfruit mango cotton candy frosting, and then the Princess of Monaco is gooey lemon marshmallow. Now, my friend Dana, um, she actually works with me, gave me a four-pack of Princess of Monaco after I placed this order because she loves Vintage Cheek Scents, too. She's also the reason why. I started her on it by giving her some of the old clamshells, like, a year ago. She's hooked. Now she got me hooked again. And this is a scent she gave me. She goes, here, it's, like, ready to melt. You can use it while you're writing for your scents. I cannot believe I got a whole loaf in this. It is beautiful. And then when you pop it open... It's yellow at the top, blue on the bottom. You can see some embeds poking out at the bottom and down the sides. It's just a really pretty loaf. And I love Princess of Monaco. It's gooey lemon marshmallow. And I love Lemon Bakery. She's not a big fan of Lemon Bakery. That's why she gave it to me. I love this. And then it's hard to smell the embeds just because the overport is so large. Which that one is... Starfruit Mango Cotton Candy Frosting. To me, I mean, I can pick up maybe a little bit of starfruit. Like a fruity scent, but I can't detect it right away. Hopefully when I cut it and melt into it. And this one was poured April 26th. This is like one of the newest, the newest or the oldest one. So that's good. I'm hopefully we'll be able to melt that soon. Sooner than later. And then the rest are single items. So... Pillow Talk, which is a little peace sign. And this one is Sweet Lavender, Fluffy White Cake, Whipped Cream, and Fresh Strawberries. So there's that. To me, I get the lavender. It's that same lavender that is in the... Whatever lavender was in the other one. What was lavender? I don't remember. <laughs> Something I had lavender. Oh, Cheshire's Grin. This is nice. It's a bakery lavender. So you get that lavender, but you also get the white cake and all that goodness. I have so much stuff. This is Atlantic City, which is strawberry, peach, and snow taffy. I don't know what snow taffy is. But whatever it is, I really like it. It's really pretty. So I really just pick up on strawberry and peach. Not really sure what the snow taffy note is. Unless it's like... um. Saltwater taffy, maybe? With, like, mint? I don't know. I don't get any mint. I get, like, a baked, like... I wonder if snow taffy has some sort of bakery note in it. Because I pick up, like, vanilla. If anybody knows what the snow taffy scent is, definitely comment down below and let me know. Because I'm curious. It's yummy. Then a Dahlia in the Fitzgeralds, which is sea breeze cocktails, sweet cranberry juice, and tart grapefruit pink grapefruit also every every um month restock is a different theme i know she had a carnival theme she had sesame street this one is fitzgerald's and flappers so this is like one of the main scents from the restock so it's really really pretty and it smells amazing i smell tart tart grapefruit and cranberry which are two really tart fruits it explains why this is so tart 
Mmm, it's yummy. Oh, I really like it. I'm like going on scent overload. I have four more and then I'm done. Oh, this is so good. Oh god, the, guys, this is so good. This is so good. This is so good. So that's the Fitzgeralds. Next I have Grand Ole Opry, which is strawberry watermelon cake. Doesn't that sound good? Oh yeah, because it is good. <laughs> it's really, really yummy. I pick up on the watermelon cake a lot, but I also pick up on the strawberry. Equal parts, it's like candy. It's really, really yummy. Strawberry Rockford Peaches. I was really excited to see this one. So this is Strawberry Pink Chiffon, which is a scent from Bath & Body Works. Blushing Peaches and Cotton Candy. I pick up mainly on Pink Chiffon and Strawberry. I mainly get Pink Chiffon and Strawberry, yeah. So Pink Chiffon is like this whipped pink candy scent from Bath & Body Works. I don't know what else is in there. Whatever else is in there is really yummy. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this a lot. This is literally just like a video of me saying I love this and it smells good. Lucy and Ethel. There we go. Which is pistachio pudding cake and coconut marshmallow. Oh, I love pistachio pudding scent. Pistachio is an awesome scent and so is zucchini for me. I love both of those notes. And as soon as I smell some hit with pistachio, I'm hit with it. Oh, that's yummy. It's like ultimate pistachio pudding. And I do get tropical coconut. I don't get any marshmallow, but like I said, marshmallow is really a hard note to smell. It just makes things sweet and creamy. So that's that. And these are the roses, which are really pretty. Love that. And then last but not least in the sampler is called Before Midnight. And she gave me two roses in this. I love this scent. This is blackberry jam marshmallow zucchini bread. I knew it was a zucchini, so I would have to love it. Oh, and I do. It's like, I smell zucchini first right away, but it's like zucchini with black raspberry or black jam, blackberry jam on top. I really like this. A sweet, sweet, sweet zucchini. Oh, I love this scent. This is definitely like a loaf. I would definitely buy a loaf in this. It's really yummy. And I was like, before midnight, I would never have thought that I would love this just by the name as much as I do. So, that was part two of my Vintage Chic Sense. This week, I can't film it today because I have to get going for work. She sells samplers, which is, so Fitzgeralds and Flappers. There's 15 cents in that, um, in that like category. You get a rose in each one. There's my Fitzgeralds and Flappers sampler. This is Midway Treats sampler. So it's Midway Treats scent with different blends. And this is my strawberry sampler. Fresh picked strawberries blended with lots of other scents. I have three samplers to get through and I want to spend a lot of time on those. So I'm posting both of these videos today, which is Wednesday. And Friday, I will post the samplers video. I'll film that tomorrow. I'm off of work tomorrow. So I'll film that tomorrow, and I'll post that Friday. I hope you guys had a great rest of your day. Um, Vintage Chic Sense, I'm, like, so excited. I have three more smaller orders coming. I placed an order for a friend, but she told me I could review it on here. So, um, yeah. She got a Forget About It Blossom Bag. She got uh, Zelda's Memoir, which is the uh, iced tea in a Blossom Bag. She got a lot of really cool scents in the bag. And, um, and then we did a mystery box that we were going to split in half. So she'll take scents she likes. I take scents I like. It's going to be a fight. I know. But, okay, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. And Kirby, I love you.